Hello and welcome to another edition of Know Your Schools on WISD TV. My name is Dale Caffey. Very pleased to have as my very special guest on this edition of Know Your Schools, Brandon Cope. He's the principal at Crestview Elementary, having finished his first year as principal there. Uh, obvious question to start out, Brandon. First of all, thank you for joining us today. I know you're busy, uh, but tell us how the first year went at Crestview, your first year as a principal. It was great. Uh, couldn't have asked for a better year. We we did well, the students performed well, the teachers did well, and uh, I could not be happier with, uh, with the performance of the students. We had a really good year. How did you adjust from the high school campus? You were an assistant principal at Waco High School and then were called into duty at an elementary school. How was that change? I wasn't sure about the change, to be honest with you. I uh, never worked in elementary, but I will say that uh, it went really well. I did some things I've probably never done before. I wore a <laughs> cougar costume, like a mascot <laughs> costume, and a lot of other things. but. Uh, the kids are great. You know, kids are great no matter where they are. It's just a matter of developing the quality relationships to, to really foster the growth that's necess necess that necessary <laughs> to, uh, uh, to make them succeed. How about, uh, you know, you uh, obviously had to establish relationships with parents, possibly in a different way than high school, or is it the same? I wouldn't say it's the same. I mean, I, th I think there's one rule that we all need to remember that uh, the, these are still their kids, whether they're old or young, these are still their parents' babies. And uh, we have to treat them as if they're our own. When we treat these students as they're our own kids, then the parents really appreciate that and respect that and also are very supportive of what you do, even if they may not agree with it or may not like the decisions you have to make. If they know that you're acting in the best interest of the students, more times than not, you get the support you need. I mentioned uh, that you were an assistant principal at a high school uh, and you were a guest on Know Your Schools last year, so a lot of people already know you, but for those who don't, tell us a little bit about your background and how you got to where you are today. I kind of have a diverse background. I did some different things. I came uh, into education late, but I taught for a few years, uh, three at Cesar Chavez Middle School, taught eighth grade math and did uh, the Waco High EP thing for a year and, and here I am. Prior to that I was in the business world doing some different things and uh, couldn't be happier in education. This, this is the place where I plan to be for a while. Very good. Uh, we talked about your first year at Crestview being quite successful. Uh, the ratings came out recently and Crestview met all of the standards of the state uh, and I know that made you and your staff very happy. There's always work to be done but you have to be relieved. Uh, happy, yes. Happy that we met the standards. Uh, disappointed that we didn't excel as much as we wanted to. You know, we, we have very high expectations. You know, our students deserve the very best at Crestview, and uh, we're already putting in plans to, uh, to make this year a better year. Talk about some of the successes you're most proud of and the places you need to work on. Uh, some of the successes I'm most proud of, I, I feel our special ed students. We really uh, developed some good quality relationships, relationships with our special ed students and saw some really, really good growth there. Uh, another thing is just the relationships with the students. You know, I think the key to success in, in, in education, especially with, in, in our district, is developing quality relationships with the students. Uh, oftentimes, even before you get into the, the, the X's and O's of the instruction. And so I'm really proud with the effort the teachers put in, uh, the staff put in, my administration. It was just all in all, they, they really did a good job of, of, of really trying to, to get to know the kids and really, and really investing in them so that they feel valued. We always have staff turnover with different things. You have some teachers that move out, some that retire, uh, others that move in. Uh, are there any significant changes at Crestview or do you have mostly the same staff intact? Uh, we hired a bunch of people this summer. Um, we had a lot of, of our staff, I think an unusually high number, move, move out of the area, not because they wanted to leave Crestview, but for spouse relocation. Right. We had a couple go back to the Metroplex, a couple go to, to the Houston area. So we're sad to see them go, but we have replaced them with quality people. And uh, we're going to continue to train up our new teachers the way that we did last year and uh, put out the highest quality product that we can. Very good. Uh, you mentioned dressing up as a cougar. <laughs> Was that your fondest rem uh, memory from the 2013-14 school year? I will say it was, it, it was a lot of fun. We, we had one student, uh, we, we had a visually impaired student move into our, to our, our, our campus and the first time I put it on he just thought that was the coolest thing. He, he actually wanted to put it on himself because he was just, just fascinated with the, with the cougar costume. I will say that there were a couple kids when I went into the classroom that were scared. We had a couple knock over desks and things like <laughs> that, uh, but none was more scared than one of my teachers who uh, dropped her pen and just screamed really, really loud. But it was a lot of fun. <laughs> the kids really, really enjoyed it. They, they loved it when the cougar came out. It just really uh, brightened the day. You had a great opportunity this summer. Uh, you, you got to go for some special development and uh, it was out of state. It was at a very, very prestigious place. Why don't you tell me about that? It was. I was fortunate to receive a, uh, 
an opportunity through Raise Your Hand Texas uh, to go and do a Principals Institute at Harvard University in uh, Cambridge, Massachusetts. Uh, it was an outstanding experience. Uh, there's about 145 people in the Institute. It was a global experience. Uh, there was probably 40, 40 people from Texas. There were people from Australia, New Zealand, United Arab Emirates, Thailand. Uh, it was a very global experience. And so a lot of insight into to different ways schools were run. Uh, very small school, number of schools that were Title I schools, a lot of schools that were, were parochial or had some, some different opportunities. So you saw a lot of different ideas and, and, and ways things were run. It was really a great experience for me. When you saw those, was there anything you could take away from that and implement at Crestview? Absolutely. I, I think uh, I, I'm still sorting through all my notes. I will say that <laughs> there's there's a lot of those. But I think uh, just just writing. You, Waco has a very strong push right now to do to do writing daily uh, in the campuses, and that was further reiterated there through the Harvard Institute. There was a professor there that we that spoke, and uh, I really saw some some new ideas with that that I look forward to implementing at Crestview. Uh, we, just, we heard some good opportunities on PLCs and, and things like that, some new ideas that, that, that I'm, I'm trying to hash out how we can, can implement at Crestview. But all in all, uh, lots of ideas, lots of uh, opportunities for, for growth, and just a very appreciative and very blessed to have the opportunity to go and study with those people. I think that most every elementary campus at least comes up with some sort of a theme or, or some sort of a focus for the coming school year. Uh, is there one such thing at Crestview? Our, our, our underlying theme is, 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 we have a couple actually, one is success and nothing less. Um, and then kind of the other one is, is we're taking the blue ribbon approach this year. You know, it's going to be a first place effort from our staff, from our students, from, from our teachers, and, and we're going to give the effort necessary to, to bring home first. Very good. Is there anything I'm leaving out? Tell me a little bit more about uh, this year at Crestview and your excitement on a new school year. Uh, I'm excited. I've got my, all my admin team coming back. So my assistant principals, my instructional coaches, they will all be back this year. Our behavior specialist is coming back. So we're going to be able to, to put a second year of, of implementation of our, of our plan in place. Uh, we're also excited we hired a parental involvement specialist this year. This person is going to work closely with our, with our parents to kind of foster opportunities for them to be on campus more, to volunteer. And so we're really excited to have her. She's going to bring a lot of great experience and a lot of uh, ideas and, and, and opportunities for our parents to, to get more involved in, on the campus. Very good. Uh, last thing, I guess you could look at that camera there and, and say a few words to your Crestview parents. Uh, Crestview parents, we are super excited to have your students back this year. Uh, we want you to be a part of our campus. We want you to be up there volunteering. Uh, if you have any questions, you know how to get in touch with us. We're always there available to talk with you and uh, we look forward to having a great year with your students. Very good. Thank you so much, Brandon Cope, for joining us today. Thanks Again, this me. is uh, Brandon Cope. He is the principal at Crestview Elementary, about to start his second year there. And thank you for joining us on WISD-TV for Know Your Schools.